Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Soft Dev Cafe and today I'm going to quickly explain to you how to control and use animated icons in Flutter. So let's head right into it. Okay, so this is actually something that's not really complicated, even though when I was looking for it, uh, finding how to actually do this, it really seems complex to me. Eventually I found out it's really not. Basically, what you are going to need is, you are going to need an animation controller. So we are going to create late animation controller, animation controller. For those of you who don't know what the late here stands for, it means that it's non-nullable variable, but it's going to be defined later in the program, which means Basically, you can define it in the init state, which is what we are going to do. Now, if you would do the without delay, it will give you an error and you can't define it now because you need to give it some parameters. So, let's go back and keep delay in and let's add init state. In the init state, we are going to do animation controller is yes, animation controller, who would have thought? with we sync is this with duration is duration with milliseconds and let's let's do 500 for example it doesn't really matter now we have an error here to use the we sync this you need to use with thicker provider state mixin this is going to allow us to use the vsync in the animation controller. Now, other thing, uh, we will want to keep track of the variable if it's on, off, or whatever, whatever the state is, we will want to keep it known. So we are going to create bool, and since we are going to do it on a play pause animated icon, uh, we are going to do is playing, for example, which need be false when we start. Now, we can go here and you know what let's make it a column so we can use both of them as a column with children let's give it text uh, with the text is going to give us the bool which is, is playing and also we are going to have the animated icon but the animated icon is going to be an icon button so we can control the state with it. So let's do icon button. On press, it's going to be is playing is is playing, but the opposite. So if it's playing, it's going to stop. If it's not playing, it's going to go on. Now we need to do a if it's playing. Then we need the animation controller to go forward. And else we need an animation controller. What happened? <laughs> oh yeah. An animation controller to reverse. Now we need to add an icon here, and this is where you're going to do animated icon. Where icon is going to be animated icons dot play pause. And we are going to add the progress, which is going to be the animation controller. Yes, like this. Exactly. And to be fair, that's kind of it. We need to rebuild because we have it in an state. So let's rebuild the application. It's here. Um, let's, you know what, actually, let's make it bigger. And let's do it main axis alignment, main axis alignment center, which is going to put it in the center. And we want the icon bigger. <coughs> so you're going to here, icon size, we're going to do like 50. Lovely. Oh, so we can see it better, we're going to do 100. Now, we can start animating. This is really all that's it into this to use the animated icons this is all you need you basically you need the animation controller which is going to control the animation of an icon 
that's kind of a no-brainer. Then you need to assign the animation controller to the animated icon itself. Therefore, you can use the animation controller and set it forward or reverse, which is going to go from the state where it is till the other end. So now we can see it. Uh, the, the text is not changing because someone forgot to set state after that. Yeah, and now we know if it's playing. So if it's playing, if it's not playing, which is why we have the play button, it's false. If it's playing, it's true. It's really as easy as that. I hope this actually explained it to you if you were struggling with it previously, which I, for example, was. Uh, there's a bunch of animated icons. You can do whatever you really want. You can find a library of them online totally in the material animated icons. This is, for example, to switch between the grid view and the list view. There are some Really interesting, there's not too much to be honest. I would really I would really appreciate having more animated icons here because this is basically all we have. But yeah, that's kind of what there is to it. I hope this tutorial helped someone. By the way, we are doing really well with now with the subscriber count and watch count and stuff, so thank you for that. I hope you, if you like this video, you will leave a like, consider subscribing, and see you in the next one. Bye!